Hey everyone, so as you can see, I was just playing my one of my favorite games, Call of Duty Ghosts, on my Xbox One. These are my Xbox One controller. So here's my Xbox One, and um, one of the reasons I'm doing this video is, and I'm sure lots of you have this issue, right? You have, but like, here's a collection of some of my consoles. I have uh, an Xbox 360 over here. I have a PS3, an Xbox One. I have a PC. Uh, I have a PS4. I don't have that on the table, but I do have that as well. And you know what? Because we have all these consoles, you know, we have all these controllers. You have PS3 controllers, you have Xbox One controller, uh, Xbox 360 controllers. It, you even have your wireless, your favorite uh, white, uh, keyboard and, and wireless mouse. And you know, wouldn't it be great if you can play, use your favorite controller and play your controller on any of the consoles that you have there? Now, wouldn't that be great? And you know what? It is possible. You can take your favorite Xbox 360 controller, for example, and you can play on your PS3, you can play on your Xbox One. Hell, you can even play uh, on your uh, PC, right? Now, how can all that be done? Introducing the Chronos Max Plus, um, you can use almost, almost, and that's important, uh, any controller on any console. Uh, so this cool little device is actually a looks like a, a USB stick, but it's way more powerful than a basic memory USB stick. Uh, this thing it allows uh, crossover gaming, as I said, where you can use almost any controller on any system. Um, you can even add controller mods and fully fully mod your controller without voiding the warranty. Um, they even have modded game packs for the latest games uh, like Halo, uh, Call of Duty. Uh, the Call of Duty series, like one of the one of the games you're seeing there, uh, the Battlefield series, Destiny, and many more. Now, as far as compatibility, we're talking about Xbox One, PS4, Xbox 360, PS3, and and good old-fashioned PC computers like this one here. Um, and uh, yeah, so now you can actually have two modes of configuration. Um, there are many more. Where one you can actually use have a wired connection from your your controller onto your new device um, via, via uh, this um, Kronos Max Plus or you can have a wireless connection. One thing that to note though, if you're gonna have a wireless connection, so let's say for example, you're gonna use your Xbox 360 controller on say your PS3, you must get the um, uh, USB wireless radio that works with the Xbox 360. Um, it's usually like a dongle, you can get them uh, for, for the Xbox 360, um, you can get them at most uh, electronic stores. And the same thing goes for, for the other devices, so for your PS3, there will be a, a wireless dongle for that, um, as well as your Xbox One controller. Right? So, what I'm going to do is just show you, give you a high level, a high level overview of how you set this up. Um, and This is a very, very powerful device. I mean. There's a ton of guys that's done a lot of coding for this. As I said, they actually have modded game packs, so custom configurations that are already done for games like this. Um, one other thing to note, um, and we'll get into a little bit more detail uh, a little bit later in, in, the, in the video, um, there's some software that you can down, that you have to download, so you would require, you do need a, a, a PC uh, with Windows on it uh, for, for this to work as well. So that being said, let's go a little bit more deeper and look at the Chronos Max Plus. So let's take the contents out of the box here. Okay, that's the box. Put it over here. We have our warranty card. Some more packaging. Here we have our quick start guide, shows you uh, what to do first, and it has a nice diagram uh, showing the, uh, the USB stick, otherwise known as the Kronos Max Plus stick, as you call it, and uh, all the instructions, diagrams, all on one page, one pamphlet, and it even tells you what all the uh, readouts mean, because uh, there's a little LED. Uh, readout display on the front here, so it gives you all those codes and everything. Be good. 
So we have our quick start guide over here, we have a warranty. And here it's nicely packaged in this uh, container. So we have a couple of cables here, uh, a couple of USB uh, cables. I think there's three of them in there. Um, and then it actually comes with a uh, Bluetooth uh, interface, right? So a lot of the controllers, uh, with the exception of the Xbox 360, um, use Bluetooth to connect to the console. So the PS3, PS4, and uh, of course the Xbox One. But the Xbox 360, it doesn't use Bluetooth. It actually uses a proprietary uh, wireless signal on the 2.4 gigahertz uh, frequency range. Um, so to use um, this, uh, on say so 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 yeah so if you're gonna use your Xbox 360 controller for example on uh, a console other than an Xbox 360 uh, for example a PlayStation or 3 or 4 uh, you should use the there's a special um, Xbox 360 wireless dongle that you can get uh, and you can use that with this but yeah, it comes with that as well so this is the actual right here the one in the middle that's the Chronos Max Plus um, looks like a big memory stick, but it's very, 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 very powerful device. Um, and it also comes with uh, uh, PS4 uh, wireless dongle. This comes with it as well. Yeah. And nicely packaged in here. I'll, I'm also going to show you an overview of what all the different ports on this are and how to connect it up. And um, yeah, and of course, also going to talk about the software that you, you can use, uh, that you can download. Um, it's it's needed for your PC, Windows PC. I don't believe they have a Mac version, and you can only you only need that software when you're doing other things like uh, other mods. Um, and, 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 and but if you want to use it out of the box, um, you don't need to use the software. But it's good to know that it exists. Okay, so let's get into it. So the first thing you're supposed to do before you uh, start using uh, this device is you're supposed to download the um, user manual. And once you've done that, you also then download the Kronos Pro software. And that software is what you would use to, if you were to, you know, make any edits, uh, create any mods uh, to your setup. Um, I, did I did state it before and I'll mention it again now. It's not something that you need to, to do, use, uh, because this device is pretty much pre-configured to work with all the popular um, uh, handsets and whatnot, but if you wanted to do for the coding or you know, uh, 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 or upload any special code packs for any of the games, um, uh, you can then use this port and this software. Um, so anyway, the, the place where you can actually download the get access to their 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 ma online manuals and the software, it's uh, www.chronosmax.com forward slash downloads. Okay, so what I've done, I actually went and downloaded the Kronos Pro software. Here it is. So let's give you a quick overview of what it looks like. Now, you would actually need to have access to the internet. So let me get that done now. Okay, so I've connected to the internet. Let me run the Kronos Pro application so you can see what it looks like. So here you have this huge online library. So on the left-hand side, you have all these different categories, PS4, Xbox One, PS3, all the like major uh, game consoles and then you know platform games fighting games different game genres and then you have access to this com community where you can actually see your published scripts uh, PC scripting references and also get access to community forums uh, I'm just going to go into community forums for a second to give you an idea of what it looks like so here's the community forums for Chronos Max Plus where you can see you know some of the latest product guides and FAQs news information hardware support and whatnot so it's like a one-stop shop for information and let's go back here now to the Kronos Pro so you have here GPC scripts so you have your six axis remapper tool uh, the game Black Ops 3 uh, some mods there rapid fire um, uh, configurations for certain games uh, correct PS3 controller dead zone so this this software pretty much gives you a portal to all types of scripts uh, game mods, um, online forums, and, and whatnot, and then you can use this actually to program or upload new mods into your uh, Chronos Max um, device. So that's that. So let's now go look at the Chronos Max device itself, and and let's look at what the different ports mean. So let's look at the Chronos Max Plus in a bit more detail. So the first thing you want to look at 
is here is the input and it's just a USB port and it's in this port that you connect uh, your controller so you can either connect uh, the wire directly from the controller in here or you can put in your Bluetooth receiver um, uh, in this port as well and that would then connect wirelessly to your controller uh, and then the next port that's the output of the stick and you connect this uh, USB plug right into your console or if it's a PC you plug it into your PC and then the third element is your LED display now the LS LED display that would show you the current state of the Cronus Max uh, such as running the memory profile number and it will show any error codes and then item number four now that is your profile button or your, your backlight LED and all you do with this button is use it to switch between the memory profiles that are stored inside the Cronus Max and you know the counter resets to zero when it reaches the end of the profile list and if there is no profile currently loaded you would also see um, zero um, now to unload the current profile you just have to hold down the button for two seconds and that profile will be unloaded right and another thing to notice too like the, pro the profile button it can be emulated on your game controller as well uh, so you don't have to use it use the, the profile button on the on this stick here um, and what you can do just check the uh, device options section in the Kronos Pro manual and it'll give you more details now the same button also doubles as a backlight feature so you can use this in a darkly lit room and see the LED display um, and um, and it's, it's, it has a higher profile relative to the, the rest of the stick so it's easy to see now port number five it's a mini USB port here on the left hand in the right hand side sorry of the uh, of the uh, stick and this is used for uh, this is your PC programming interface and you use this port when you're you need to connect uh, to your PC and you can then program monitor test um, firmware updates and APIs right so that um, application I showed you just now um, you would use that uh, to do the programming, monitoring, and testing of the firmware, update, firmware updates and the APIs. API stands for Application Programming Interface, um, so that's what this port is used for as well. And then number six, as you can see, that's the backlight ring. So let's look at a high-level diagram showing the capabilities of the Chronos Max Pro. So first of all, let's look at the various consoles that I can plug into. That it's compatible with. So first off we have the PS4 of course which is one of the latest consoles from Sony. Uh, it also works of course with the Xbox One console, uh, the PS3 and that's all flavors of the PS3. So there are about three versions of the PS3 so it works for all three versions including the Xbox 360. Now with the Xbox 360 um, the Xbox 360 wired controller is required for authentication so just keep that in mind. Um, it's also compatible with PlayStation TV and our good old-fashioned Windows PC as well. Now, they are, um, you can add mod capabilities to your controller. Uh, so that's uh, also, you know, what's really cool about this device is just the amount of, uh, you know, functionality and, and things you can do with this thing. Uh, so speaking of mods and mod, um, mod capabilities, um, there are game packs that are already done and completed. So when you go on your website, you can actually um, get the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare game pack, um, Destiny game pack, Titanfall, Far Cry 4, uh, Dying Light, and many other uh, game packs as well. And these game packs are already ready to go. You don't need any additional hardware, chips, or any wires uh, to the controller hardware. So that's uh, keep that in mind. Now, I did mention earlier that you can play this uh, with the once you have the X aim plugin installed you can use a keyboard and mouse with this um, all right now as far as the controllers um, there are uh, a number of official wired um, controllers that can work with this and the, 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 the wired official wired controllers would be your ps3 ps4 
Four, Xbox One, and Xbox 360. Those are the official wired controllers. And the reason I say official is because there are also a huge number of other third-party wired controllers. Um, if you just go onto the uh, Konus Max website, uh, there is a full list um, of, of um, compatible controllers there as well. Uh, from a Bluetooth perspective, now this does come with a mini Bluetooth uh, dongle, uh, which you can plug in. Uh, it has a wireless port and you can plug it into the back of the uh, uh, Konus Max 4, uh, sorry, Konus Max Pro um, joystick. And there is, now as far as the Bluetooth uh, compatibility is concerned, um, the PS4 controller, PS3, and Xbox One, including like the uh, Nintendo's uh, Wii um, remote and uh, whatnot, those, those um, controllers can work via the uh, Bluetooth, Bluetooth connection. Now there is a Bluetooth um, dongle actually comes with the Cronus Max uh, Pro that you can actually use to sync with those um, handhelds as well. Now I didn't include the Xbox 360 under that Bluetooth heading because the Xbox 360 uses proprietary wireless uh, protocol uh, using a 2.4 gigahertz um, uh, band. Uh, so for that what you would need, you would need to get um, the Xbox 360 um, wireless uh, dongle for that and then you can just connect that wireless dongle into the same port on the Kronos Max uh, Pro that you would the Bluetooth uh, uh, USB port. What's so simple about this is that you know um, all of the interfaces would require a USB uh, would connect to the USB port in the back of the Kronos Max Pro um, so it's just a matter of what you want to pair up right so depending on what device it's, it's all through that same USB port. So that's an overview of you know the capabilities of this and what connects where.